You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my reaction to episode eight of House of the Dragon. Before we get into this week's reaction, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. Clearly, a little bit different of a setup. I'm actually in New York for New York Comic Con, where I met Oscar Isaac and Ben Barnes and Boyd Holbrook and Tyler Hecklin and picked up some sexy boy art. So that's a thing. So I have to kind of keep this reaction a little bit on the down low. Obviously, I'm in a weird setup. I did bring my mic though as hot as my camera and the laptop is always ready to go quite honestly i just couldn't not react to house of the dragon like i can't make myself wait <laughs> i need to watch it tonight uh so we're gonna react to it even if it is in this hodgepodge situation I believe tonight is the final time jump. It's been six years from episode seven until now. And of course, the week I'm here in this is like the longest episode of the whole freaking season. <laughs> that couldn't have been last week, couldn't be next week when I'm all in my rig set up and can yell and holler at my own heart's desire. No, no, no. That should be when I am on my polite behavior, right? Been saying all that. I don't want to belong this too long. I'm hyped for the episode. Y'all know I've been living for this series. So let's see what the fallout is here in the show when it comes to that Rhaenyra and Damon wedding that took place last episode. And let's see if they bring Corliss and Rainey's in on what happened with Lenor. Because I do have questions. If they really think he's dead and it's presumed that. Damon and Rhaenyra were in on the murder. Why would Corley's and Rainey's side with Team Black? So, I mean, they gotta tell him, right? They gotta, like, let him in. But also, is it too dangerous to let him in? We've all been wondering about Sea Smoke. Nobody else can claim Sea Smoke if his writer is actually still alive. So, what does that mean for future characters and the dragon? It'll be interesting to see. Interesting to see. But for now, let's jump into episode number eight. What do we think, y'all? Is Viserys kicking the bucket today? Or are they going to wait to episode nine? Or is our king making it all the way to episode ten? How many of folk have been just shook every week that man returned still alive? Looking more and more dead as the years go by, but he will not give it up. Little does the realm know that that decrepit old king is holding everything together as he clings on for every last breath, y'all. It's been near six years since I last saw my lord husband, Maester. I must know. Well, six years since you've seen him? Look at Vaymon, little punk ass. He gonna pull some effish. The sea snake is strong. I will not suffer the talk of crows in my house, Vaymon. I love mm -hmm. my brother. Who will take the driftwood throne? My grandmother seems quite comfortable here. She prefers yes. only the absence of her husband. On his death. Sea passes to Lucerus Valarian, as is my lord husband's desire. I am the sea snake's own blood, the closest kin he has left. We can, good that's father. his grandson. One could take your words for treason. Mm hmm. I see Rainey's has come around. Hey, girl, by a man whose ambition has brought down on us calamity after calamity. My brother cares only for the history books. Vayman? Excuse the you, sir? The Valarian line. Here go Vayman, acting up immediately. Oh, which one? Don't tease us like that and only give us a shadow over the water. 
Mr. Damon, come to claim an egg for the new baby. Well, you know I live for that Danny theme coming back in. I love this. Oh, how cool. I love little stuff like that that just adds so much to the lore. Like the clutch of dragon eggs and how they look, basically. Yay! Oh no. Yeah, Bela ain't having what her aunt is trying to do. Unless you're planning to depose your own mother, you have plenty of time to study. <laughs> so shouldn't they have started him a little earlier then? A little bit old to, to get in on the High Valyrian. A lot easier to teach a language when you're little. Like that little Joffrey should already be on the High Valerian train. He means to call into question Luke's legitimacy. Mm, he does. And by extension, Jace, and by extension, my own claim to the throne. He believes we had her son killed so that we might marry. Yes. And yet she's taken Baylor to war. Yes, it's Lena's memory she honors. She has no love for us. How's the Viper's venom spread so far? I'll well, say so this is one change in the book that's been somewhat consistent actually. Rhaenyra was very close with the Valerian family. Starting with Lena, they were like best friends. There was never this strife between her and Rhaenys throughout this. And I really I really wish they had kept that connection instead of making it seem quite treacherous. They had nobody there to greet them. Thank you for that exhaustive accounting, Lord Beesbury. I remind you. Oh, here she goes. She is pulling a Cersei. Just reading the old men to filth in the room. I trust they've been welcomed as befits their station. As you instructed, Lord Hand. Uh, you... It was my Dirty. understanding Lord Corliss Ugh. wished for his grandson, Viserys, to succeed him as Lord of the Tides. The boy has been yes. raised most of his life away from Driftmark. Named him as heir, if it comes to that. The crown must choose what is best for the realm. Oh, my. My king. Oh. Rhaenyra. Here with Damon. See, you can just feel the love Rhaenyra has for her father. Oh. You are to affirm your position for Lucerus. To be Corlys Valarian's successor. Oh, Rhaenyra. <laughs> She's like, this is not it. This is not the time. Oh. Who is that? <laughs> father is Aegon. Aegon. Mm -hmm. And this is for Sarah. Oh. Uh, that, that is a name. Fit for a king. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Straight up had two kids that her father never met. Please. Oh. Uh huh. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh. This when we bring in Rainier as Maester. Did you see no one else, Your Grace? Are you pregnant? <laughs> Humanity before the treachery. I can feel it. She's gonna do something nasty. You know what happens to girls like that. <sighs> I wish that they were reading another one to anyone, Your Grace. I know you won't. 
Should be a silent sister. Are they gonna kill her? It's best to be certain. Aegon's been like the most naked character in this series. What is it? How can you keep carrying on like this, especially on a day like today? Oh, why? What is it today? Oh. You are no sinner. And yet you will continue to press his claim like that? I've done everything you've asked me to, and I try so. It looks we should also dead. Also yes, we should. Bring Gerardus in, girl. And Prince Damon. It's been so long since we were granted the joy of your presence. Who? My father and I are mere stewards of the king's will and wisdom. And how exactly is that wisdom expressed? Hmm? Mm -hmm. In blinks and wheezes. I'd be surprised if he could remember his own name or if you could. King Viserys. The maesters, of course. It is they who keep him addled on milk of the poppy while the high towers warm his throne. Rhaenyra, if you would see him without it, almost blind with suffering. No. But be assured the father is just and commands me to forget the accusations you have held in this room today. Oh. Oh, I love Jace. Now, why couldn't Jace have Luke's hair, though? Why he gotta have this haircut, this damn wig on? Oh. My two least favorite people fighting one another. That Valerian theme still slaps. Though the entrance of the family is far less hype than the last time we got a Valerian entrance to King's Landing, huh? Vaymond. Hold your nerve, my queen. What we do, we do for the good of the realm. Oh, Otto, shut it. Uneasiness. No. He may yet live. But we must be prepared if he does not. The These three scheming peace. bastards. The credit to the work of both Jaharis and Viserys, but the threat of war. <sighs> I know Hightower is still just poisoning her damn ear with nonsense. Always talking about impending war. Both of y'all can see Aegon is not fit for a damn throne. But you did worse than that with Lainor. Did you not? I did not order his death. Nor was I complicit in it, I swear this to you. Truth, Rainies. So she schemed to... I'll make you an to... offer. Ex Back Luke's claim. And let us betroth Lena's children to mine. You're right in this, at least. <laughs> Rainies don't play, girl. It does not matter. Oh. But tomorrow the high towers land their first blow. They force you to your knees, and I must stand alone. See, I don't like the strife between Rhaenyra and Rhaenys. The Song of Ice and Fire, do you believe it to be true? Hegel's dream. <laughs> but the burden is a heavy one. If you wish me to bear it, then defend me and my children. I 
<sighs> the Rhaenyra haters gonna take that down. It's just this power hungry monster that they like to levy against strong Targaryen women. Supper, Otter. It's the morning, Your Grace. Uh, tonight. Patronize. All of my family. Uh, you heard Allison talk about he may well live still. And you see this condition their maesters have put him in. The High Towers have been killing this man to take over, prime themselves in the perfect position. Bring milk of the poppy. No. Oh my god, he's a skeleton. His head looks like it will fall it is the off. Hope of this court that Lord Corlys Valarian. The crown will now hear Get the, the hell off that throne, you nasty. Ooh. This is about the future and survival of my house, not yours. Princess Rhaenyra, you may now speak for your They got another damn mess over there. Reminding the court that nearly 20 years ago in this place. Daddy's back. Otto. King Viserys of House Targaryen. Go on ahead and get off that the seat. The first of his name. King of the Andals. And the Rhoynar. And the first men. Oh. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. He did it. For his daughter. He got the hell off that bed, mustered up every ounce of strength he had for his daughter. This is why you could never make me hate Viserys Targaryen. Never. I don't care, he's done some frustrating things as king, but his commitment to his own daughter when all these vultures have been flying around, we stand. Oh. Ooh, that one got me emotional. That one got me off. Oh, he is living to protect that girl. He heard your call, Rhaenyra. He's here. Shut up. What have you done but help him to the damn grave? Yes, he will. Get your nasty ass out of there. You don't look good in that throne any which way. I said I'm fine. Damon? Uh, Come on. Uh, I don't know why this whole thing got me. The family. Those three are the true family. They stick together, no matter what the situation is. Damn, that was whew, that was a lot, y'all. I'm not usually emotional like this, but that got me. The music, what a scene! Whew, what a scene! Who might offer keener insight into Lord Corliss's wishes is the Princess Rhaenys. Oh. Indeed, Your Grace. Will she be truthful? Or is she going to still advocate for herself? It was ever my husband's will that Driftmark passed through Selenor to his true-born son, Lucerus Valarian. His mind never changed. Nor did my support of him. As a matter of fact, the Princess Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her sons Jace and Luke to Lord Corliss's granddaughters, Baylor and Rayner. A proposal to which I heartily agree. <laughs> well, the matter is settled. 
again. You break law and centuries of tradition. Here's you to install your daughter as heir. No. No. Not allow it. And who are you? That is no true Valarian. And certainly no nephew of mine. Go to your chambers, you have said enough. Looks like you're about to lose the town. Very much. Say it. Say it. Mm-hmm. Say it. Did you just hear? He's raining. Rainer. Bastards! Out with your tongue. She is a whore. Now you suffer the consequences, Raymond. Can keep his tongue. Disarm him! Many... <laughs> Call the masters. What an idiot! Didn't you just hear that Luke is marrying Raina? Hello, Valerian blood is still passing down. Not the tongue shot. It cares little whether my eyes are open or closed. Oh, Rainies. I mean, <laughs> Damon wasn't really right um, in doing what he just did, but. Damon wouldn't accept. I mean, the thing is, Damon called into question treasons and deliberately and publicly disobeyed the king he should have had more than his tongue taken out viserys was going to allow him to just run amok before saying the word bastards and calling rhaenyra a whore so in the end that was the sentence he deserved for what he pulled in that throne room just a sneak attack by the wrong person Viserys and his Phantom of the Opera face. <laughs> Prince Viserys, a future Lord of the Tides. <laughs> You'll be great. Oh. So do you know how the act is done? I assume. He's just having fun. <laughs> Oh my God! No longer a handsome one. Let us no longer hold your feelings in our hearts. Oh, Viserys! The crown cannot stand strong. But the house of the dragon remains divided. True. What he speaks is real. If not for the sake of the crown, and for the sake of this old man who loves you all. Damn, Betty is just. He's giving it his damn all. Oh, what a freaking performance this season. Tonight is that Emmy moment, is it not? I wish to raise my cup to her grace the queen. All right. <laughs> Every time Rhaenyra lends the hand. Moves me deeply, princess. She lends the hand every time. Are you both mothers? Alicent does this every time. And we love our children. I raise my cup to you. Okay, Into thank you. You will make a fine queen. Ah. <gasps> oh. Alison just said that right here at this table. 
Look at Otto's a mess. I regret the disappointment you seem to suffer. <laughs> but if you ever wish to know what it is to be well served, oh. all you have to do is ask. Oh. All right, that was a little bit merch, sir. Oh no, what's he gonna say? Oh, he's just standing up to challenge Jace. Is that what it is? <laughs> Two princes <Yes>. and. <laughs> What say you when I it isn't so bad, mostly he just ignores you. <laughs> Except sometimes when he's drunk. <laughs> oh. Your best child, Allison. Your best child. Did she say that at Avond again? That he's the beast beneath the wood? <laughs> yes. This is a fun drama. This is just fun drama. He's dancing with oh, love Helena. I'm a sweet girl. I love her. Probably the most pure soul in this whole damn show. Oh, there you go, Viserys. God, he's gonna die, huh? He's gonna see everybody happy and smiling. And he's gonna die. Thinking his family had finally mended and that he could pass. Oh, Viserys, what a tragedy. Thing, that happiness was what gave him leave to to die, I think. Oh, here we go. Final tribute. What? To the health of my nephews. Each of them handsome, wise. Strong. Come. You drain our bastard. To these three strong boys. I dare you to say that again. Why? It was only a compliment. Do you not think yourself strong? <laughs> All these looks. Noin, what's to come? With Amond and all of these characters he's staring long looks with. You really just arrived. Return on Dragonback. The king and I would both like that. This is Allison's best episode in a long time. Back to really displaying more complexity of her. Obviously more sympathetic. She hadn't raised two frickin' treacherous heathens. Uh-oh, Nazaria. Hello, darling. It's been a while. Miss Whisperers. Even in that damn cloak. <laughs> Oh, yes. no. Nope. Not Damon. One of her little birds. Oh. Is he going to be dead? He's still alive for the moment. Oh, Rhaenyra, you can't leave right now. Your dad's about to die. He's dying. 
Rhaenyra is leaving. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Rhaenyra has to be on Dragon's Throne. Wrong person, bro. It is true. Prince. Prince Aegon. Do you make the realm against the cold? It's not dark. It is you. You are the one. You must do it. What meant for you, Alicent? Would you be? I mean, maybe she thinks it's her son Aegon, but why would that be you, Alicent? It's Rhaenyra. I understand, my king. No. Can't even read it, girl. I don't even know the words on that damn dagger you used as a weapon. Oh my god, Viserys. Here we go. Well, now the dance truly begins. Let's find a word that gave Allison resolve to push her son back, huh? Great. Wow. What an episode. It really got me emotional. That scene where Viserys gathered literally every, as we see, last bit of his strength to go and defend his daughter was just beautiful. And the bond between he and Rhaenyra and Damon. Oh, that's the family. That's family. Now, I wish he didn't tell Allison that right before he died, thinking it was Rhaenyra. That just gave her resolve to push her son. <laughs> when she was literally telling Rhaenyra earlier in this episode, you'll make a great queen. <sighs> Sorry, I kind of waddled a little bit into spoilers as we got to the end of the episode, just because it happened. So I can say it now is that Rhaenyra is on Dragonstone in the books when Viserys dies and that's really what leads to the madness so and lots of things happen here in King's Landing surrounding King Viserys's death while Queen rightful heir to the throne Miss Rhaenyra is over on Dragonstone once again I really think this this episode was amazing it was really amazing the family drama was fantastic once again, we see Rhaenyra is really trying a lot over and over to make some sort of amends with Alicent. And it was finally like working to an extent. I think Alicent received the validation that in her eyes, she had been eluded all of this time. She had been forsaken all of this time. And that did a lot to really kind of warm her back up. Unfortunately, again, Viserys telling that prophecy to the wrong person uh, thwarted all that work. I also think it's interesting that this first season, once again, has pretty much solidified over and over that Rhaenyra was the rightful heir, not just by word, but through the white stag, through this prophecy and Viserys. It just, it's so plain and right before our eyes that... Again, I don't know how anybody is team green. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm team black through and through. And this series is reaffirming it tenfold. <laughs> Wind continues to be actually treacherous while Aegon is just a troll. He's just ridiculous. I thought he was poking fun with Lucerus at first. He took it a little far with Bela, but you know then he slammed little luke's head into the damn table and i was like okay see <sighs> i don't think Aegon would be any kind of threat when he doesn't have his family charging up his back like he does whether it be his mom his grandpa or his little bro who meanwhile why does little bro look like he could be the much older bro 
now. Maimon, bye. You and your services are no longer needed for causing all of that disruption. Thank you. I really wish the relationship between Rainies and Rhaenyra wasn't like this. I wish we would have gotten the book accurate version of House of Valerian and their allyship with Rhaenyra because it's very strenuous right now. Very, very strenuous. And honestly, you kind of wonder why, I guess, she agreed to marry her daughters, her granddaughters over, but I don't know if you think those people killed your son, allying to them is something. So, ooh, and that was a lot. <laughs> that episode was a lot. But that was my reaction to House of the Dragon, season one, episode eight. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. What did you think of episode eight? Let me know either in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.